Now, what I'm wearing today, uh, I'm not sure if uh, it's an Aztec costume. It's the closest I have to to something, uh, you know, Spanish, Mexican. And I'm not even sure where uh, where I got it from. Is it from you, Jeff? Uh, this uh, this shirt. I don't think it's something that I would um, be able to, to wear myself uh, normally. Okay, now I want to get started. Uh, it's 11.01. Let me get started. Uh, I'm really excited to share. Morning, May. Okay. So you're here because you want to change for the better. And it starts with what you think about. Dr. Joe Dispenza says, thoughts lead to choices which lead to action or behaviours which create experiences, which then produce emotions which affect our thoughts and then the cycle repeats. So a person has 60,000 to 70,000 thoughts in one day. 90% are the same thoughts as the thoughts before. Same thoughts always lead to the same choices. Same choices always lead to the same behaviours. Same behaviours then create the same experiences and the same experience will then produce the same emotions which lead you to the same thoughts. So we want to meditate on new words so that we can have new thoughts. We've been studying this book, Aspire, Discovering Your Purpose Through the Power of Words by Kevin Hall. And this book contains 11 words. And Kevin Hall shows how these words will become touchstones in personal development and in business. And we've been through, uh, I think, seven words now. We're coming uh, to an end. It's been a wonderful time. Okay. Uh, morning, Sue. I know you will love this. Okay, You are the closest I know to an etymologist, master of words. So today's word is all in. Okay? It's spelled O-L-L-I-N, pronounced all in, all in. This is an Aztec word. That's why I'm... I don't know whether this is an Aztec top. Okay. It's an Aztec word. When an earthquake or great storm was about to shake the earth, the ancient Aztecs would scream and shout with urgency, all in, all in, which means to move and act with all your heart right now. All in is an expression of immense depth that conveys intense and immediate movement stemming from the ancient Nahuatl, language. All it is derived from yolotl, okay, Y-O-L-L-O-T-L, -L -L. yolotl meaning heart and yolistly meaning life. So all in means, all in means to move and act now with all your heart because your heart is your life. It means to follow your path in life wholeheartedly. As Confucius said, wherever you go, go with all your heart. So, you know, when an earthquake or a great storm appears, the Aztecs describe that power with all in. But not only did the Aztecs use all in to talk about the weather, they also had a term that basically meant an all in heart. This would mean that the person is fully committed and takes intense and immediate action. All in was not just a word to the Aztecs. It was a philosophy, a way of living. They believe that everyone has a purpose in life. And once you find your purpose, you should follow it with all your heart. You should go all in. So all in is about total commitment. Now, in the book Aspire, in this chapter, All In, Kevin Short, Kevin Hell shared about his own experience doing his first parachute jump. Let me tell you my story of my last parachute jump in my airborne course when I was a student in New Zealand. See, I, I, I had uh, wanted to make the army my career, so I was attached to the Special Air Service. And during summer holidays, uh, I, I wanted to just keep in touch with my, uh, my parachuting. So I joined the, the airborne course. And so this was the last parachute jump. It was a full equipment jump. I had 50 pound backpack okay, uh, on my back. And uh, we were going to be jumping into the sand dunes. And you know what happens in the sand dunes. You walk, uh, you know, three, 
three steps uphill, you slide down two steps. It's just going to be really tough. And normally when you do a parachute jump, uh, you will just bury your chute and then you move on for your mission. But because this was a training exercise, you know, when I landed, I would have to carry my, my parachute, which is, you know, I don't know, 20 pounds on top of my uh, full equipment, 50 pounds. 50, 50 pounds uh, together with my rifle. And, you know, in the plane, I was thinking, how on earth am I going to carry it? You know, this thing weighs almost as much as me. If, you know, how am I going to carry my parachute and the backpack uh, out uh, to the RV point? So that was at the back of my mind all the time. And, you know, in Singapore, when we jump off the sky van, it's at the back of the plane. So you jump off, you just, that's all you do. You just drop out of the, you know, out of the plane. But in New Zealand, we were jumping from a, a, a DC-3, okay, Dakota. And we jump from the side. So when you jump from the side, immediately you, you step out, the slipstream will hit you, okay? So what you need to do is you need to do a very totally committed jump right far out, okay? But... I had kept thinking, you know, oh, how am I going to get out on the ground, you know, on the ground? How am I going to move? And that preoccupied me. So when I jumped out, it was a half-hearted jump. And so as I moved out, the the back of my, not my backpack was behind me, you know, uh, it got caught on the side of the, the plane. You know, I jumped out, it hit the side of the plane, and I went into a massive spin. So when the parachute opened, it was a candle candle what they call a candlestick the, the my my rigging line uh my rigging lines were all wound up so i had to you know i had to unwind as i was falling with no parachute i was unwinding it the lines and i remember just as the parachute opened i hit the ground now normally <laughs> i would have broken my legs at that time okay but because it was sand it was very soft okay but that was the problem when you jump without full commitment i didn't trust myself fully out okay so all in is about total uh, commitment all in is also about purposeful action okay Bob mandino in scroll nine says i will act now okay and kevin hall says when we view our path with clarity we move with clarity we move with a full and committed heart now i know the path ahead is often unclear, okay? Uh, but you know your end goal, you know how you need to be, and you just move with a full and committed heart. It's all about progress, okay? Now, the word progress, pro, P-R-O means forward, and gress meaning to move. So to progress is to move forward. Of course, it isn't going to be easy, nothing worthwhile is. Okay. Last, um, <clears throat> Friday, we talked about overcoming fear, okay? And so one of the things that will stop this purposeful action is fear. And Kevin says, fear is nothing more than false emotions appearing real, okay? Fear of failure or failure or, 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 or fear of success can be overcome by firmly placing one foot after another, okay? With steadfast resolution. That is about purposeful action. So, if you look around today, you'll see many people who are tentative about life, tentative about their relationships. When they join our business, they are, they are, they are tentative, you know. Once you've chosen a path in life, you should commit to it with all your heart. Okay? That's what all in, all in means. You should go all in. Now, we also often fail to go all in because we want to keep our options open. We are afraid to fully commit to a particular course of action. But, you know, doing something half-heartedly is a sure path to mediocre results or sure path to, uh, to failure. So, um, later I will share one tip to purposeful action. Okay? In fact, I'll mention it now. You know, what would you do if you knew you couldn't fail? How would you behave? Now, all in is about giving your all. I want to share with you what Matt Hall writes about All In for Network Marketers. Okay, All In for Network Marketers. He says, sometimes I hear people say, I'll try this for a year and see how it goes. And that's really fine, trying. But what would be so much more powerful 
I actually create success for them faster would be to say, I'm going to do this full stop. Okay, I'm going to do this period. Instead of trying something to see if it will work, choose to commit to something until it will work. Okay, choose to commit until it will work. Whether that's hitting a high pin title or high rank in your company or mastering a new recruiting strategy or doing uh, social media, you know, uh, choose to commit until uh, you get good enough for it to work. So in the book, Kevin tells us when we decide what it is we are willing to suffer for and what we are equally willing to act on, the world opens up. Okay. When we go truly all in, there's nothing that can stop us. So it's a recognition that anything good, okay, uh, uh, there is suffering and we are prepared. We're not surprised when it happens. All in is about expanding our comfort zones. So those who practice all in and expand their comfort zones, they don't apply they don't approach life as spectators, they are players. They get off the sideline, they start playing the game. And that's a, a way to take control of your life. Instead of seeing themselves as thermometers, you know, at the whim of the external environment, they see themselves as thermostats, capable of regulating and controlling the environment that surrounds them. And of course, you know, it starts with controlling uh, your thoughts. Okay. All in is about going all out to go all in. Kevin says it's not part time. It's not when it's convenient. It's something you practice every day of your life. My own mentor in Miracle Life pointed out that how you do anything is how you do everything. Okay, How you do anything is how you do everything. So it's a habit. And Arthur, okay, Kevin Hall's etymologist, the word master, he reminded Kevin that habit, okay, the word habit comes from the Latin habitus, okay, which also means dress, something you wear each and every day. Okay, so a habit is something you wear each and every day. Jump in, be a player, not a spectator. And you know what? Don't just play, play to win. Now, he suggests taking an inventory, okay? Take an inventory of your current situation. You know, are you moving and acting with all your heart in important areas, okay? There's a checklist of things in your relationships, your health, your business, you know, your learning, your finances, all these areas, okay? You want to go all in in the important areas. Now, in, in the book Aspire, at the end of each chapter, Kevin has his journal thoughts where he does his personal uh, application. And in his journal thoughts, he says that all in isn't something you do part of the time or just when you feel like it. Okay, I mentioned that earlier. And he quotes Dorothea Bandy, okay, Dorothea Bandy, who wrote, All that is necessary to break the spirit of inertia and frustration is this act as if it were impossible to fail. That is the talisman, the formula, the command of right about face, okay, 180 degree turn, which turns us from a failure to success. Ask yourself, what would I do if I knew I couldn't fail? What calls to me? What energizes me? What makes me feel I'm at my best? What goal, idea, relationship, job, or dream makes me want to start running and jump all in? She says, when I act as if it were impossible to fail, unseen forces come to my aid and I develop what the Aztecs call an all-in heart. I want to end by <clears throat> uh, sharing with you what uh, Kelly Poulos and Emily Louis uh, write in the book Secrets of Winning. All-in is about that first crucial characteristic of success that we are doing uh, at our small group meetings, okay? A compelling desire. You know you have compelling desire when you're in and fully committed, intellectually and emotionally committed. And compelling desire energizes you and, and energizes other people as well. So to experience all in, we have to get all in. So that's my sharing for today.